So, good day, tech buddies. I have here laptop upgrade Asus VivoBook X407 MA. Uh, this is uh, a Pentium processor with a uh, Intel Pentium N5000. So, uh with uh we come here with the specs specific it has a uh, 1.1 gigahertz so basic for typing and browse and video conference so i already upgraded into uh, 8 gig so this is a uh, windows 10 home single language so i just want to share the basic uh, or the full uh, parts replacement and for upgrade on this laptop I already documented here as I printed so that uh, you have a reference if you want to upgrade or replace some parts of this laptop. So I will discussing also the compatibility and uh, recommended parts. So that uh, we will not encounter errors for this uh, setup. So let's start with the charger. So this is charger or the power adapter. You can see that. So if you want to buy this uh, charger. This is the specs. It's a 19 volts and 2.37 amperes with 45 watts. And basically, it is a 100 to 240 volts input. Then, this is the important the pin. It should be 4.0 mm by 3.35 mm. This is Asus micro connectors. You see on the picture. So you can search for the compatibility of this uh, laptop top charger or power adapter if you want to replace. Next is the battery. So the battery is uh, the model of the battery is Asus A31N1719. So the capacity is 33 watts hour and the voltage is 10.8 volts so it it has a three battery cell so one two three so if you want to search and buy just look for this model okay next is the keyboard so the keyboard so if you want to replace the keyboard, you can search for ASUS X407MA. So this will be also compatible with other models like, uh, like you see on the text MA and 407U. So the type, no frame and U.S. language. So if you want U.S. language, this is the U.S. language. So this is the guide. What will be the physical appearance of this kind of ribbon? The next is the screen. So the screen 
as a 14 inch or to be specific 14.0 inch display lead LCD uh, compatible lines as Vivo book ratio is 4, 4 by 3 R4 is the 3 resolution in HD 1366 by 768 or if you have using the FFD so IPS 1920 by 1080 so this is a two uh, two options then it has uh, two options also for the physical appearance the glossy and the um, uh, make video connector is 30 pin so 30 pin so next would be the upgrade so on the ram side so this is the default i uh, installed ram on this laptop it has a 4 gig and to 400 megahertz it's a 4 gig so i upgrade it into 8 gig so i'm using a uh, this sample I'm using it is a crucial brand so the maximum slot is up to 8 gig so there are some uh, uh, tech that installed next 16 gig but I recommended that 16 gig so because the, the processor is limited to cater that 16 gig but you can try if you have a 16 gig so the frequency compatible with 2666 so I installed this at 2666 and uh, uh, 2400 and uh, 2133 so this is kind uh three the, these three frequencies so you can choose what kind of uh, ddr4 you want to install on this laptop so next is the storage on the storage you have uh two slots the 2.5 2.5 and the m.2 so first we set to the ssd or the hdd the maximum capacity to be installed from 120 gig up to 2 terabyte but uh, it recommended should be at least 512 or 1 tera so it's this is a recommendation for the M.2, so you can install same as on the 2.5, 120 up to 2 terabyte. So I recommended for 512. That's it. So we reevaluate. Uh, after upgrade, uh, uh, I observe that the memory is now uh, up to 20 or 30 percent so not not fully uh, utilized so it's good but the CPU may it take some uh, 90 percent because if you have a process uh, more than the capacity of the CPU so it will increase the processing example i open microsoft word now oh, microsoft word so it's normal up to 43 percent okay uh, and the browser 
sample we search a uh, so see it will became a 99 percent if you open the google chrome sample uh, youtube youtube so So very high on CPU usage. So it's normal because the processor is only a Pentium Silver at one gigahertz. But then, as I do some uh, tasks, it's okay for only for uh, basic. Uh, uh, browsing and encoding for video conferencing so it's good for this kind of setup so guys thank you for the time for watching on this video i will uh, attach this uh, documentation i give you a link for this for so that you can evaluate and easy to upgrade on your laptop so thank you please subscribe if you like or share this video thank you